Hare Krishna. Hi everyone. Welcome. In this video, we are going to implement a Java program to compare two arrays without using the invert methods. Let's take an example of array 1, array 2 here. You can easily say that both arrays are not equal. Here is the logic which we need to implement to find whether the arrays, the elements of the arrays are equal or not. First, we need to check whether the length of the both the arrays are equal. Both the arrays are having the same length, then only we can proceed to the next step. The length length of the array 1 and array 2 itself is not same. There is no point in proceeding to the next step. So directly we can return saying that arrays are not equal. In the second step, if the array size is same, then we can compare each element one by one in between array 1 and array 2. If they are matching, then only we can print say both the arrays are equal. Let us practically implement this program using Java. First, we will add a main method. We declare and initialize array 1 and array 2. Int array 1 equal to initialize with elements 257. Int array 2 equal to initialize with element 2578. Instead of having the core logic in the same main method. Let us delegate the core logic to the different method. We name it as compare arrays which takes two arguments array 1 and array 2. In the main method just need to add a if condition. If compare arrays we need to pass the parameter as array 1 and array 2. Core or the compare arrays automatically eclipse IDE will create a method for you. So you can see that the new method added saying private static boolean compare arrays which takes the argument array 1 array 2 and return type is boolean. The main method you just take the return type which is boolean. If it is true we need to print saying both the arrays are equal in the system that out dot printer then else we need to print it as saying the arrays are not equal. Now let us move to the, the compare arrays method and implement our core logic. So as we discussed earlier, first we need to check the length of array 1 and array 2 by using the if condition array 1 dot length is not equal to array 2 dot length. The lengths are not equal directly we return it as false. Else if the lengths are same then we can compare the elements of array 1 with the elements of array 2 using the for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than array 1 dot length or we can also take array 2 dot length because the both arrays are having the same size then i plus plus inside the for loop just add an if statement if array 1 of i is not equal to array 2 of i so here we are taking the 0th index of array 1 comparing with the value present in the 0th index of array 2. Similarly once i is incremented by 1 we take the value present in the first index of array 1 and we compare with the first index of array 2. If there any element of within this array comparison is not matching we directly return it as false. Finally if none of this condition is matching then we can return it as true. To avoid the confusion let us create a one more value variable boolean comparison status of boolean type and initially we initialize with the value true boolean comparison status is equal to true In the first if condition if the array 1 size and array 2 size are not equal we set the comparison status as false inside the for loop we can compare elements of array 1 is not equal to elements of array 2 then we can again set the comparison status as false finally just return the comparison status hope this is a bit clear and easy to understand Let's run the program. Yes, array 1 and array 2 is not equal. Now let's remove the last element from the array 2. Now rerun the program. So output is printed as both the arrays are equal. The program is perfectly working fine. Now let's uh, debug the program uh, so that we can understand the complete logic in a clear way. You can see that program control reached inside the compare arrays method where we have added the debug points. Initially it is checking the array one dot length and array two dot length in the if condition. Here the lengths are not equal. Array one is having the three elements. Array 2 is having the two elements. So hence the condition array 1 dot length not equal to array 2 dot length is satisfied and comparison status will be set to false and we return as false to the main method and we can see that output is printed as both the arrays are not equal. Now let's change the elements of array so that the elements are equal to debug the positive condition. Now I added the debug point at n number 8 also. Here we are calling the compare arrays method inside the if statement and we 
we are passing the parameter array1 and array2. So you can see that inside the compare arrays method as the length the size of array1 and array2 dot equal the control of the program reads to the else condition of the if statement and inside the for loop initial value of i is 0 array1 of 0 is 2 array2 of 0 is again 2 2 is not equal to 2 condition is not satisfied i is incremented by 1 again i is having the value 1 array1 of 1 is 5 array2 of 1 is again 5 5 is not equal to 5, the condition is not satisfied, i is incremented by 1 again, now i is having the value 2, array 1 of 2 is 7, array 2 of 2 is also 7, is 7 not equal to 7, condition is not satisfied, i is incremented by 1, i less than array 1 dot length, condition not satisfied, for loop is terminated. Finally, we return the comparison status as true. And inside the if condition of the main method, we print the output saying both the arrays are equal to the console. Let us verify one more scenario where length of the array 1 and array 2 are equal but the elements are not equal. Let us change array 2 elements as to 58. Let's debug the program again. The program control is the line number 8. which calls the compare arrays method. Inside the compare arrays method, we are checking the length of the array 1 and array 2. The condition is not satisfied. We enter into the else part of if condition. Here the initial value of i is 0, that is array 1 of 0 is 2, array 2 of 0 is 2. 2 is not equal to 2, the condition is not satisfied and i is incremented by 1 again. Array of 1 is 5, array 2 of 1 is 5. 5 is not equal to 5. The condition is not satisfied. We don't enter into the if condition. i is directly incremented by 1. i is having the value 2 now. array 1 of 2 is 7. array 2 of 2 is 8. Finally, the if condition is satisfied and comparison status is set to false. Now, i is incremented by 1 again. i is having the value 3. 3 less than array 1 dot length, condition is not satisfied, for loop is terminated. Finally, we return the comparison status as false and we print the output saying both the arrays are not equal. Thanks for watching.